Police and private companies in the UK have been quietly rolling out facial recognition surveillance cameras, taking face prints of millions of people, often without you knowing about it. That's biometric data as sensitive as a fingerprint. This dangerously authoritarian surveillance is a threat to our privacy and freedoms, and it needs to be stopped. But what is facial recognition surveillance anyway? Facial recognition surveillance cameras scan all the faces they can see in a crowd to check people's identity against a database in real time. This works by rapidly creating a biometric face print of your face, sensitive data that uniquely identifies you, much like a fingerprint, and comparing this for similar matches on a database. Now, these databases have been built from different sources, including CCTV images, the police's enormous database of 19 million custody images, which includes many thousands of photos of innocent people. Police intelligence databases, including innocent people with suspected mental health problems and political campaigners. But the possibilities are endless. Some facial recognition companies even claim to check faces against internet data in real time, scanning social media sites like Facebook and Instagram to identify any profiles associated with you. Facial recognition cameras often look like normal CCTV cameras. They're anything but. Without your consent and often without your knowledge, they subject everyone within view to a biometric identity check. Live facial recognition in public spaces is a mass surveillance method and a huge expansion of the surveillance state. It inverts the vital democratic principle of suspicion preceding surveillance, treating entire populations like suspects. Police normally require a legal basis to check your identity or ask for your biometric data, but facial recognition surveillance introduces arbitrary identity checks to our society, turning us into walking ID cards subject to high-tech police lineups. At Big Brother Watch, we've been raising the alarm about live facial recognition for years. We took a report to Parliament in 2018 showing UK police forces lawlessly using it. 98% of matches misidentified innocent people. Research suggested black people and women risk being misidentified the most. In London, we saw police use facial recognition to misidentify a 14-year-old black boy in school uniform and treat him like a criminal. Plainclothes officers poured him onto a side street and demanded his fingerprints. We also saw a man being stopped by police after objecting to being scanned by live facial recognition cameras and covering his face. He was surrounded by officers and when he protested, he was given a £90 fine for allegedly swearing. The chap told me down the road, he said he got facial recognition. So I walked past like that, it's a cold day as well. Because I've done that, the police officers asked me to come to him, so I've got me back up. I said to him, f***ed off, basically. I said, I don't want my face shown on, on, on anything. If I want to cover my face, I'll cover my face. It's not for them to tell me not to cover my face. Yeah. I've got a man, 90 pounds fine. There you go, look at that. Nin Thanks, legs, 90 pounds. Well done. Live facial recognition frequently leads to over-policing, police paranoia and arbitrary checks. And most of the people we've seen getting stopped are young men, particularly young black men. Do you want to tell us just what, what's just happened? Well, basically, I've got off the bus, I'm on the way to work, I'm walking down, I'm rushing because I'm late, and the police have stopped me, saying that I'm acting dodgy, putting my hand in my pocket and rushing. Well, I'm late for work. And I, obviously, I'm rushing. All these people got their hands in their pockets, you see none of them getting stopped. You know what I mean? And I literally work right there, and I even said it to them, I'm on the way to work. They stopped me, they searched me, took me in the van, searched me again, and then as I left, they searched the van to see if I dropped anything. Live facial recognition has been used at public events and Notting Hill Carnival, in shopping areas, football matches, and has even been used at a peaceful anti-arms demonstration. With social movements on the rise, live facial recognition cameras could be rolled out at demonstrations to run ID checks on people exercising their most basic right to dissent against authority. This really is urgent. Authoritarianism is on the horizon. That's why we're launching our Stop Facial Recognition Fund. We need you to join the campaign. Go to bigbrotherwatch.org.uk slash stop facial recognition to subscribe, join and take action. Thank you.